So I'm going to show you how I like to mix up my casein protein powder. Um, casein's a little different than whey. Um, it takes longer to digest and it actually mixes to a thicker consistency. I actually like to make a pudding out of this and have it on a sandwich. So I'll show you how to mix it up correctly, okay? It's about a one to one scoop to water ratio. So you'll take the scoop. First, you don't want a heaping scoop. You see how that's heaping? You just wanna press it against the side and trim it off just like that, okay? Just gonna throw it in your little bowl here, okay? For video purposes, I'm actually gonna use the scooper and measure out um, the same amount. You can eyeball this. Uh, I typically eyeball it because I don't like to make um, utensils dirty. But you can eyeball it if you like. I like a little, a little less than a, a full scoop of water. And you can just throw that in there. Then you're gonna take your butter knife and just lightly mix it around. You don't wanna mix it too much, uh, too fast because it's gonna, the powder is gonna get all over the place. But just wanna mix it up nice and fine. Let's get all the clumps out. Then when you're done, the consistency should look something like this. Like I said, like it should look like pudding. Should be pretty sticky. Um, this mixture here, I would consider that a little on the wet side. So next time I would add just a little bit um, less water. Um, what I like to do is I, add, I like to add less water than I actually need, mix it up and keep slowly adding water to um, consistency of my liking. Um, at this point, I like to mix some peanut butter with it. So you can weigh out your peanut butter, put it in there and mix it up. And I also like to add blueberries into the mixture too. Mix that up, I'm not gonna demonstrate, but. And then after that, I put it on uh, two pieces of sandwich bread and then I eat as a sandwich. The leftover, I'll, I'll eat and I'll enjoy that as an appetizer. And that's how you mix casein protein.